Hello, hello. Uh, I'm here again with a demo for Mysterious Space, my seven-day roguelike entry. It is... Uh, so seven-day roguelike is over, uh, but I, I don't know. There's... I, I, I guess I realized like two days before the seven-day roguelike was over that I missed out on... Did I say out funny? I missed out on like a really important kind of uh, uh, feature of, of roguelikes, and that's the exploration. Um, where you know you've got this big dungeon and you get to explore it however you want, and and sometimes you know really good roguelikes will even put in puzzles. Like Brogue has obstacles like a, a pit of lava or something, and then somewhere else on the level they'll have a teleportation item or maybe an item that lets you walk on lava or something. And so you find that thing and you think, oh that's cool, maybe I'll use that you know somewhere in the dungeon, and maybe you do, or you could use it on that floor to kind of get over that obstacle and and, and maybe get some treasures or whatever. Uh, so, anyway, so that's really cool, right? And uh, my my version of Mysterious Space that I released for the Seven Day Roguelike has zero of that and has almost zero capability for me to add that because you are forced to go, you know, from left to right or when you're going back through levels right to left at a fixed speed. And, and so there's not really a whole lot of control. So, you know, I, I was thinking about this again two days before the Seven Days were up for the Seven Day Roguelike uh, competition. And I was like, man, I, I want you to be able to go up and down. I, I want tunnels and, and caves and things. And so, I, and so I started to work on it. So let me show you now what I have got. Uh, I've also fixed a couple bugs that were in, in the game. Uh, like you could delete equipped, you could throw away equipped items. That, that was kind of bad. Uh, but, but that's not really as important. Uh, let's call it, whoa. Uh, so another thing I fixed is, is on the seven day roguelike release, if you got up to like level four here, you had to take the top path. You couldn't take the bottom as well. Again, whatever. So let's descend. Uh, so, so this is kind of my first draft, let's say, for generating random tunnels. Uh, you can see that I'm still facing I can't switch directions, basically. I need to add a key so you can switch directions. Uh, but it generates these crazy... This tunnel is super crazy. It generates these crazy tunnels uh, that carve into the ground. And in theory, I might hide num-nums in the depths. So wh what I'm thinking is, you know, previously you just went from left to right or right to left, and you beat the level, and and that was kind of it. And I think what I would like to do now with the whole exploration element is require you to find a fuel source or something. The idea being that, you know, in order for you to travel from sector to sector, you need to refuel. So you have to stop on a, at a planet in each sector, uh, such as this one, fight all the baddies, find the, the fuel source, pick up the fuel, and then leave, and then you jump to the next sector, uh, where, where you do the whole thing over again. So, so, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think that will make it a lot more interesting. It's going to be I think significantly more roguelike, just having this exploration element, and it feels really, um, you know, when you've got these caves dug out in this 2D tiley thing, it starts to feel like Starbound or, or Terraria or, or any of those sorts of things. I'm not going to let you destroy blocks, of course, it's not that sort of game, you know, or build things, uh, but it's going to have that same sort of, you know, monsters spawn as you explore into the dungeon, that sort of thing, rather than having you know, previously you move from left to right and it kind of placed waves of enemies that would maybe spin or swoop in, shoot at you and swoop out. Those things aren't really appropriate anymore. Uh, so I'm going to try and go for something a little more like Terraria, where as you move into the level, you know, monsters was kind of spawn at the, at the end of your, at the edge of your vision, basically, uh, and then vanish if you go too far off screen. So, so that's the route I'm taking now. Uh, again, this is kind of a first draft tunnel making code. It, it's, I don't know, in, in some ways it's kind of neat, and then in others it's kind of completely whack. <laughs> um, so, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll tweak it. Um, you know, it's going to need, like, backgrounds, so it's more, you know, right now we've got these stars behind us, that's kind of silly. It, it should have a, a background that makes it look more like you are actually underground or something. So, so anyway, so, you know, then I've got to put in monsters and the fuel source, and I don't think that'll take too long. And, uh, which is cool. Uh, on the other hand, you know, during the seven-day roguelike, I was telling my friends, go away, I can't hang out with you, I'm being antisocial, I'm making the seven-day roguelike. I can't do that anymore just for my insanity, uh, as well as in the interest of keeping friends. I don't know, I, I, no one really complained, but I, I need to hang out with people, so I'm not going to be able to devote as much time to this as I did during the seven-day roguelike competition, but still, I'm, I'm going to try and, and get this, you know, something neat out, something playable, 
uh, as soon as possible. And I don't think I'm that far. I think kind of the same problem as the initial release is the enemies will be boring. There won't be that many kinds of varieties because I'm going to have to completely redesign them. The guys that were kind of going in little in little circles, I don't you know if you, if you played or, or not, whatever. There were these little monsters that went in little rings. Uh, those are kind of still appropriate for this sort of level design, but other than that, I don't really have anything. So I'm going to have to remake it all from scratch, which which is going to take a little time. Uh, but I think I'll have... You know, it should be pretty quick to, you know, even if that's the only kind of monster, okay, do that, pick up a pick up a fuel source, and then fly back out into space and, and boof off to the next sector. Another thing that I'd like to do, so once I've got the basics in, and you have the sort of free movement, it's easy to imagine adding all kinds of exciting things, maybe uh, uh, like like temples or, or equivalent. You start, you know, draw some inspiration from the roguelikes and all the weird mechanics they have. They have temples. You don't want to necessarily go temple route, but you could have a little thing. Will you, will you deposit items in this funny alien whatever? You know, oh, you get something, or or maybe there could be dudes in here who you can rescue or or something I and mean, we, we can make all sorts of other interesting things uh, to, to really make the exploration pay off other than just find a fuel source uh, but the find the fuel source thing is, is what I'm gonna go for first anyway I fear I have rambled far too long thank you for listening uh, and watching and again I, I hope I will get something out in the next few days I, I can't say exactly when uh, so yeah I, I'm all done thanks again